Hi, in this video, we're going to look at kitchen cabinets. We're going to start with base cabinets, which are the cabinets that sit on the floor. They have a countertop that include your sink, um, anything else that would be sitting on the countertop, if you have a cook stove, um, things along those lines. So let's get started. First thing you need to do is determine where your kitchen's going to be. So I'm going to make my kitchen an L-shaped kitchen. I'm going to stop somewhere over here. Each block's a foot, which is good to know. So I'm going to come out two feet. So I'm going to go one, two, I'm going to put a dot here. Do the same thing over here. Go one, two, and put a dot. So what I've created is the corner of my kitchen. So I'm going to draw this in really fast. So I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go like this. Now, I'm going to come out here. I'm coming out so I can see I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to come out eight feet. So I'm going to go another foot. And that's going to establish one end of my countertop. I'm going to put in a refrigerator here. So I'm going to make that one, two, three. And I'm just going to throw in a refrigerator here. Um, look in your textbook for labels. So that's going to be in my refrigerator. I'm just going to put a big R here. That is not the correct symbol for a refrigerator, just letting you know. Next, I'm going to come over here. Um, I would have already had my windows in, so I'm going to assume I have a window or something here. But I'm going to throw in an end of counter here. I'm going to put in my sink, and I like my sink in front of my window. Sinks have sizes. Again, look in your textbook for sizes. I don't want to take time to do that in this video because it would take too long. But I'm kind of showing you just roughly what these things are going to look like. So I've got a double well sink that would be in front of a window if I chose to do so. I also need a range, and the R is the correct symbol for range. So I want to make this. I'm going to make it about two and a half feet long, and I want it to be a four burner. I may want an oven somewhere. I could put that in. Um, if I chose to do an island, I need at least three feet between countertops. So if I came out here at one, two, three, and I came out here, one, two, three, that my island would be here. Now I would recommend if you have an island or a peninsula not to make it more than four feet wide because it's convenient to reach two feet but after that it gets tough so you can walk around the island and change it. So I'm going to make this one, two, three feet wide. I'm just going to put in a three foot island, be able to walk all the way around it. So there's my island. Um, if you choose to do a peninsula it's the same thing. I would just extend this out and make it two feet wide. In addition to that, if I want to put in um, top cabinets or wall cabinets, wall cabinets are going to stick out a foot. But remember, because we cut off our walls at five feet, these are going to be dashed lines. So my dashed line is going to stop before the sink. It's going to pick up again. If I want to do something unique here, and again, your textbook has lots of good ideas of what kitchens should look like. My cabinets can go right over the top of my stove. They could go over the top of my refrigerator. I'm choosing not to. But now you can see that I have all my kit, my upper cabinets or my wall cabinets are dotted lines because they're above that five foot threshold. My bottom cabinets or base cabinets are two feet out from the wall and they're just drawn as a solid line. As I said before, your textbook has some wonderful examples of what kitchens can and should look like. The other thing I need to mention is that you need to be concerned with what's called a work triangle. That's this distance from your sink to your refrigerator, from the refrigerator to the stove, and from the stove back to the sink. This should be anywhere between 12 and 21 feet. So that's called a work triangle. And again, look in your textbook, it'll explain this. But you need this to be a convenient working distance. 12 is a little small, 21 is getting a little big. So keep in mind the aggregate distance is 12 to 21 feet, and that's measured from the sink to the refrigerator, back to the range, back to the sink. I hope this helps. Again, look at your textbook. It has great examples of this, and good luck. Contact me if you have questions.